This Week in the Catholic Star Herald. Eucharistic Revival. More than a thousand faithful lifted up their voices in prayer and song June 18th during a candlelight Eucharistic procession led by Bishop Dennis Sullivan on the boardwalk in Atlantic City. As priests of the diocese held the monstrance high during the nearly mile walk, the scent of incense mingled with those of pizza, funnel cakes, and the salty ocean breeze, while curious onlookers emerged from eateries to take photos or ask questions. Others dropped to their knees in genuflection. We are the Church of Camden, Bishop Sullivan said, the procession being the official start of the National Eucharistic Revival for the Catholic Church in the United States. Catholic Charities Awarded In accepting the 2021-2022 Homeless Veterans Outreach Award for the Catholic Charities of the Diocese of Camden, Supportive Services for Veteran Families Coordinator Samantha Astley kept the attention on those she calls the real heroes. We are here to serve those who have served us, she said, of the servicemen and women helped by Catholic Charities Supportive Services for Veteran Families. The program aims to provide housing stability for low-income and homeless veterans, explained Astley. Our goal as a program is to house homeless veterans, but to also keep them in that housing. We want to make sure there is no veteran on the street, in the shelter, or facing eviction. House of Charity. Nearly 100 volunteers who lend their time and talents to the House of Charity, Bishop's annual appeal, were celebrated June 16th at an appreciation dinner. The volunteers are essential to a well-run campaign. We cannot do the annual appeal without them, said Andrew Goes, Associate Director of the Diocesan Office of Development. The House of Charity, Bishop's annual appeal, ensures the vitality of essential ministries on both the diocesan and parish levels. For these stories and others, visit CatholicStarHerald.org. I'm Dave Hernandez for the Catholic Star Herald.